All right, what's up, Assetto Corsa? Today we're gonna learn how to import rims into Assetto Corsa or change the rims on an Assetto Corsa car the right way. So first off, you wanna get your program 3D Simad and one of those two, either 3ds Max or Blender, regardless. So we're gonna start off with the S2K. That's the car we're gonna be using today. We're gonna go to CM Showroom and Content Manager, and look, we can look at the car, see how it looks. Uh, we can play sounds, turn on lights. We're not gonna do all that today. But now you see what rims on the car, and this is what we're starting with. So we can X that out, and you want to open up your 3ds Max, of course. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that, and you want to open up your 3D Sim Ed. So now that's opening. Again, I have a video tutorial how to reset your trial to 20 days. Again, we're gonna import, choose our S2K. That's okay. Wait for it to show up. Again, you can zoom in by using your scroll wheel and look around the car. But we're gonna export, plug in export, and you're gonna let's we're gonna for go to our video folder. So we're gonna make a folder named S2K. Right. Open and then you wanna save that. Make sure it's saved as FBX, please. Um, copy my settings here. Um, make sure you select create INI. If you do not select create INI, all of these textures like the blue you see on here, the black on the wing, the lights and the rims will not copy over. And wait a second, uh, click export textures. You want to find your folder, which should be highlighted if you went in this order that I just typed, uh, or just went through, then you wanna select S2K, which should already be highlighted, make new folder, and name it texture in all lowercase. Make sure that's not an S on it, and make sure it's named texture, perfectly texture. Press okay, yes to this, all right, so now that you've exported your textures, you want to go to the car that you're taking the rims off of. So let's find the car that we're gonna take rims off of. Let's do the EK9. Import, the same process that we did for the S2K, we're gonna do for the EK9. So we're gonna go import, choose the EK9, press okay. Wait for that to load up. Not every car will load up, and some cars crash 3D Simad. I don't understand why, so nothing I can do about it. So if it doesn't crash, then you want to export, plug in export. Make sure you do it in the same order. If you go to export textures first, it might not go to this folder like it just did here. So you want to do plug in export. S2K, we're gonna, it's named the right, FBX, save. Now we want to export textures. Now important step here, when you export textures and you choose not the S2K folder, but the texture folder, Press OK. It's going to ask you rename textures and drawing to use exported textures. You want to choose no. I'm saying no because if, let's say you want your S2K to stay, I don't know, blue, and the EK9 is black, it'll replace the blue that was saved into that folder with a black texture because they're both named paint or light livery or whatever. So don't press no here. Now you want to. Close the 3D sim ad. Import. Again, if you, as you can see, I don't have a grid. You press G to make the grid pop up, and to make the viewport point the way I have it, you just want to click this plus sign. So click that, and then press G, and your grid will disappear. So import. We're going to choose our S2K. Make sure you do it in this order. You'll understand why later. So we're going to add. Make sure that you import this as a scale factor of one, whichever you choose, whichever you have to over here, but make sure it's one. So, okay. Now that that's imported, uh, you have all the dummies, you have um, the dummies for the tires. You select them on the left, so I'll select this. This is the wheel, or let's do the right rear wheel. It'll highlight everything, and then you'll end up hiding the wheel itself, and then when you go to move it, it won't get deleted. So let's just do it on this side. So I click high selection, high selection. Got to zoom in using my scroll wheel, select them, visual high selection. High selection. All right, so now we have a clean car. We're going to leave that. It's not bothering anything. We have a clean car. Now we're going to select the wheel by clicking on it now you want to go to the main one the main source and delete and do that for each wheel all 
All right, so I want to keep the same springs and calipers, so I'll keep those there. Now I'm going to import import my EK9, which I'm taking the rims from. Make sure I add. Do not add an update because it will replace anything that's named the same. So, example, if I have light, for example, if I have lights, it'll replace my lights with whatever lights I import. So, don't do that. Now, make sure you have it in a scale factor of one, same as you did last time. Press OK. While everything is highlighted, you want to move and select and move, and you want to click right there, and you want to move them down or up, whatever you prefer. I prefer down. So you now that that's highlighted, you can click away from the car on the screen somewhere. Select one of the rims. It'll pull you down this way. And then we're going to select each one of our rims. Uh, we're going to ignore the suspension because we already have suspension on the car and we're keeping that. So we're going to select each wheel. And as you see, if I move this up, my calipers or my rotors stay there. So we're going to take the disc too. We're going to move that down, and we're going to delete this car. So now that that's out of the way, you want to highlight all of this, and you want to move them up. So about right there. So now you know it's, it's lined up with the car. It's close to the car now. And next step you want to do is select your wheel on the left side of your screen. So select left front. Or actually, let's, yeah, select left front press align or control or alt a to align and then you have your left front highlighted you want to click suspension left front and it should line it up perfectly with it make sure you choose the positions right because it won't go right if you don't use those and make sure it's centered and not the pivot make sure these aren't checked too because it'll make them extra huge or extra small depending on how the dummy is for the suspension okay and now that that's still aligned, make sure that's not blue. If it's still blue, you'll click here and it'll ask you again. So make sure it's not blue. So Alt A or click here. And then left front again. Align with the left front. OK. And you want to do this for all the wheels. So I'm going to do that right quick and skip ahead. All right, so now that all of that's aligned, sometimes you'll realize that, and also I should mention that sometimes the disc is inside of the wheel folder, so you won't have to do them for both. You might just have to do it for wheels. So sometimes you'll realize that this isn't lined up perfectly, such as the front right here. All you need to do is select it and just move it over. Line it up perfectly where it should be. Uh, let me just do that right quick for them. Alright, so now that that's out of the way, you have your rims replaced. Uh, if they're clipping through the top of the car, like this, that's right rear. If they're just through, then you can pull them down. Um, if they're through like this or something, that means your suspension's all the way up here, so you need to select right rear and right rear suspension also, and you want to move them as a whole down. So move everything. It's done. Right. You have your rims replaced on the car. You can set your offset by just clicking the right rear or left or right front, for example, and moving it left or moving it right. But we're, it's fine the way it is. Uh, now we're going to go export. Choose our car, S2K. Yes. Uh, make sure this is selected the same. And make sure your scale factor is 1. Um, this is important. If it's not right, then the car is going to export. It's going to be a damn mini car or Hot Wheels car in the game. So press OK. And now it's saved. The next step would be to go to your set of Corsa folder. So a set of Corsa. SDK. Editor. And open your case editor. I have mine saved here, but you want to open it. Sometimes some people will have to run it as administrator. I don't, but I will for this purpose. So we're going to X that out. It's already opening. Now that that's open, go to File, Open FBX, and you want to import your car. So, video cars. Okay, S2K. Wait for it to load. 
and as you can see, this is what would have happened if you wouldn't have chose Create I9 for the car. So because I saved it as the S2K and not the EK9, the EK9's textures did not load, but the S2K's textures loaded. If I would have saved it as EK9, the EK9's tire was would have loaded and the S2K would have looked all messed up and weird. So what you want to do is you want to, if you clicked on something, right clicked on something, then you just want to scroll up, choose model, file, load persistence, and because we create the I9, we can just select the EK9 and the wheels are fixed now. And sometimes it changes the S2K stuff. So example, if the, like this car is blue, if I right click there, it's blue and go to material. As you can see, it's live the livery is blue. It'll choose the black livery for the EK9 if I replaced it when it asked me to rename them. So with that in mind, you want to just click here and now you want to load your main cars just in case. So now it replaces that. As you can see, it fixed the number. If I load EK9, it replaces it with, with what I have for the EK9. But if I choose S2K, it replaces it with what I have for the S2K. Now you have the new rims on your car, and all you have to do is save. I can just save KN5 car, find your car that you were using, uh, S2K. Um, I'm just going to save this one as my backup or my original, so I'm going to name it original OG. Okay, and we're going to save that as S2K, the original S2K, so save. And in here if you were to right click and update the preview it would put the new tires on so see him showroom and as you can see the car has the new tires if you have a showroom uh, you might not have developer tools this is something for developers that i because i know the guy who made this so it's a special feature but let's say you want to click on the second before last so car parameters choose a line using data and this will pop up. Now you can adjust the car to how you want for, I guess, your preview. So let's say we're going to add a little rear camber, negative two. We're going to add a crack ton of front camber, negative six. We're going to go hella stance life by moving the Y down. This does not affect the car in game. This is only for the preview. This is what people see when they open up content manager this again this will not affect the car in game so we can move the car we can move the tires forward add a little caster again this does not affect the car in game and it doesn't affect the suspension physics in quotations so physics that would work in game so just for a picture add a little offset looks pretty good good enough for a picture I'll lower it a little bit uh, there we go there we go of course, you can add a little steering, but it doesn't look that good in pictures to me. So I'm just going to set that back to zero or closest to zero I can get. Okay. Now, make sure you update model. Now, now that you've updated the model, you, you'll see it like flicker a little bit. And that means it's updated. Now you can press X and you can right click and update preview. And now you see a car lowered and it has camber, whereas this one has the old rims, it's not lowered and it doesn't have a camber. So that's that. That's how you change the rims on, on any car. If you feel like I missed something, uh, feel free to message me. I'll fix it for you. I'll tell you how to fix it. And that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If I missed anything, press put it in the comments and I'll just add it in an update in the video or something. Otherwise, I'm out. I hope you like. Please comment, like, and sub. And... Have a good week.